Okay, Wizard, so we're going to continue on from yesterday's video where we look at how to calculate an arbitrage opportunity actually using the order book and the depth of market on the order book. So if you haven't seen that previous video, there's no point in you watching this. You need to just stop this video right here. But go back and watch that if you haven't seen it. But in this video, we're going to continue on finishing our calculation as to what is the real percentage on a triangular arbitrage opportunity and is it worth trading. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's finish our calculation on the total picture of this triangular arbitrage opportunity that we've been modeling here, the simulated trade that we've been doing. Now, first of all, I'm going to get rid of this big blue box over here so that we can actually see all the calculations going on. And we were using the example of 250 euros. Now I'm going to stick with that example. Now there's a lot of layers on the order book over here. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and group some of these. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this order book and I'm going to just group these here just so that I can see the totals and you can see the totals and we can have the overall picture here with less mess and noise. So the first thing is I exchanged 250 euros for 0.08285 Bitcoin. We know that because our balance is now zero. We've exchanged the full 250. We can see it there. Our balance is zero. This was the total amount tradable at that level of the order book. And the way we calculated that was by taking the size in Bitcoin and multiplying it by the price in euros to give us the total available euros because that's what we're trading with. This is the method we've gone for. But now I've got Bitcoin. I don't have euros anymore. So if I look down at the bottom here at the totals, I've exchanged a total of 250 for 0 0.082855. So I want to hit Control C over here and then Alt E S V. And that just pasted the values into the cell over here. By the way, Control C, Alt E S V, pay special values. These are all keyboard shortcuts. You could have done it the mouse way, but in doing these tutorials, I want to teach you little tricks that are going to save you hours of your life as well. So now I want to change this to order book B because I don't have Bitcoin on order book A. I now want to exchange Bitcoin on order book B. I've moved from this trade. I'm now trading on this order book. Now, this is very interesting because the same thing is applying here as it did with euros, but now we're in Bitcoin and the same rules apply. We're on the ask order book. It's giving me the total available Bitcoin to trade by multiplying the size times the price. By the way, because it's the ask order book, that's how we do it. And now that's left me with, you can see an average price of 0 0.00094. And you can see that makes sense based on the prices that I've got here. And I've exchanged 0 0.082855 Bitcoin for a total of 883.79 ZRX. So what I want to do now is copy that value. Same thing again, I'm going to put it in here because now I own that much ZRX, but now I'm on order book C. And you'll notice this model's pretty clever. It actually now knows that I'm on a bid order book because it's looking at the description on the left here to see that it's a bid order book. Now, one thing you'll notice is it's not multiplying the size times the price anymore to give me the total available amount to trade. I want you to pause the video and think about that. Why, why do you think, because it's a bid order book, that we don't treat it the same way as the ask? We're not going size multiplied by price. Pause the video, have a think about it, and then hit play. So hopefully you thought about that. Now the reason is because we own ZRX and the size is being quoted in ZRX. Over here we own euros, but the size was being quoted in Bitcoin. And it was the same over here. We own Bitcoin, but the size was being quoted in ZRX. But here we own ZRX, and the size is being quoted in ZRX. So we're going to look at the total available amount as 61 ZRX. So again, this formula is clever. It knows it's the bid over here and it knows just to take the size. So we can see the same thing applies over here at 883 ZRX. By the time I get to level three over here on the order book, it exchanges all of that and I'm left with no ZRX. So all of my ZRX is exchanged, all 883 at these different levels for 249 euros. Now, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. So if I look at the average price, well, that makes sense. If I look at this, it's 0 0.283, then 0 0.282, then 0 0.281, I went to level three. So the average price I exchanged it for makes sense, but hang on, wasn't I supposed to make a 0.09% profit? Now I know this 0.09% is trivial. There's no way you would have even considered doing all of this for 0.09%. Like I said, 
I just pulled these prices as they are from the exchange because I wanted to do this tutorial. But the principle still applies. I started with 250 euros, but now I'm down to 249. And this is the reason why you cannot ignore the depth of the order book. If you're looking at a triangular arbitrage opportunity using this method here, just looking at the price, that means you're only looking at the price on the first level or level zero, I'm gonna call it, on the order book, which really doesn't make sense because there might not be enough size for that price. Now, something I wanna mention over here, this is another reason, whenever we're looking at prices in cryptocurrency, remember, we have to look at price and volume together. It's the same with speculation in trading and it's the same in arbitrage trading. It's exactly the same. We need to look at size and price. Now from these two videos, that's exactly what we've done. We've looked at the size and the price and we figured out that actually there's not an arbitrage opportunity. In fact, I'm gonna do a quick calculation and that's gonna show me that I started with 250 and now I've ended with 249 and as a percentage loss, saying I lost 0%, but actually if we expand that out, that's a 0.34% loss, not a 0.09% gain. Now this could have been the same, by the way, for an arbitrage opportunity that's showing as 15%. The next thing you actually figure out, there's no size in the order book. And the real arbitrage opportunity is actually like negative 5% or something like that. You would actually lose money by placing it. So this check of the order book is so, so, so critical. Even though there's a lot to it, if you ignore this, you're gonna lose money. Now let's go back to order book A and assume I have a thousand. Well, you can see the full thousand is eaten up on the first level of the order book. Just for the example of this calculation, let's put in 5,000. You can see that the 5,000 by the time I get to level three or four over here actually, that I've eaten up all 5,000 and I now have 1.65 Bitcoin. So I'm gonna paste that in. Now you can see with order book B that I actually need to unhide some of these rows and that it's right down at the end here that I got all my ZRX. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it in there. Um, and now I'm gonna move this over to order book C. And when I look at order book C and I'm gonna group this again, just to get rid of the noise you can see that I've got 4,766 euros. I started with 5,000, I have 4,766. So you can see how you can use this model to actually go through the steps, go through the process and make sense as to where the actual problems are. I am gonna put a link to this model just in case you actually want it. I've shown you how to calculate it, so you don't need to get it. But if you wanna support the channel, you can just go and download this Excel model. It'll save you a lot of time and it's really useful. It's helped me a lot with the design and development of the automated triangular arbitrage tool that I'm building right now. So I really hope that you found this useful. Definitely leave your comments in, any questions you've got, put them below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Thank you so much for being here, watching this whole video, going through this journey with me. I really appreciate your company here on the channel. I really enjoy reading your comments. Thank you so much, take care, and see you in the next video.